Our today video is on uh, car uh, remote control system. Actually, I'm going to demonstrate how to test and how to uh, install a car remote system on a vehicle. For this purpose, what I'm doing is I just purchased a car alarm system and I'm going to install it for one of my friend on his Toyota, uh, Toyota Corolla 2001. So I will give maximum information what I, I could uh, to install such a system on a vehicle. Hope this three uh, part video will help people who are going to install a remote control lock system on their car. This is not very difficult as people are thinking. It's simple process but only a little understanding is required to accomplish the job with success. Here is a little alarm system for the car or whatsoever this locking remote control system not alarm so we are going to install this before installation uh, on table we are going to test it I am going to show you uh, how to do it how to test it and how to install it this is uh, the wiring is a little bit confusing but it is really easy people have made it very very much confusing who know how to do it so we are going to install it and first we are going to test it on the table so here this uh, remote control and here is some accessories you can see these are the motor actuators which are going to the doors and whatsoever uh, the trunk so these are the motor actuators they will be installed on the doors i'm going to show you a little while after a little while so here is the main electronic unit which is the remote control of course uh, the receiver and here you can see the Korean technology it had been written and some code is there this is the code which is for the identification of the remote control radio code something and here is this unit and uh, here is of course these uh, few terminals or pins you can see and this one is the connector the female and these are the male and this will go in some way like this like that one i just opened it the cover i'm going to show you why i did so here is the little uh, diagram or schematic or whatsoever they have been given the wiring diagram so i'm going to show you something is clear something is confusing everything is not clear on this uh, this is the same unit actually so here uh, first we have to start it from the battery battery the 12 volt is going through the fuse to the red as it is written and the negative of course it is going this is a, a vehicle ground and it, this is coming to the black so here are two wires which are red and black which are here in my hand these two so they are clear one will be the positive the red one and the negative will be the black one of course so the next is what's our this purple wire so purple wire is over here you can see and purple wire have, is having some sort of uh, the shrinking sleeve on and here two wires are coming off of this purple i'm going to explain why these two wires because you can see these uh, this purple is going to the parking light as you know in the vehicle there are two parking lights one is on the left side and the other is on the right side uh, Actually, they are uh, more than four, six, something like that, but main are two, left and right. So these are two are for the left and right. And what I'm suspecting is f from here, the unit, the one wire is coming and the, the here will be two diodes, which are actually, they are not combined over here. The energy can go from here, but cannot be returned to the backward. So that's why they put these two diodes, they are important. And this one as the purple wire had been finished it's okay uh, we explained this and next is the orange as you can see here is the orange but this is not actually this wire this is uh, bad way written it should be written something pink as I can see the pink wire over here you can feel the difference in these two wires here is the orange and here is the pink in my hand so this pink wire is going to the trunk here is a trunk so this pink wire is going to the trunk uh, this is okay it will go to the trunk trunk actuator actually and then four six wires 
these are the six wires orange white yellow uh, orange black white black yellow black these are the six wires which are over here of course over here these six wires they are not explained properly something is written lock and lock uh, central door lock wiring so maybe it will be on the central lock unit but as we have we don't have a central lock unit instead we have a car which have no wiring in no door actuators nothing we are going to install them so for this purpose this only this unit is enough to do the uh, trick and here are the two remotes this one and the second one is also there some way like this these two are the remotes which have been come with this unit so in a little while i'm go i'll go to explain and we'll power it up and we'll show you here this unit is mi for 55 555 you can see uh, the central uh, door locking system here are some other wires a uh, bundle of wire you can see and uh, these actuators five actuators actually they have given to us and then some sort of these are the actuating whatsoever these lever you can say or whatsoever these wires metal wires they will be fixed over here like this and they will actuate the actuator will actuate this wire and they will be connected to the door uh, locking system locking and unlocking system i will show you on the vehicle how to do it and then this actuator actually this is a motor over here is the motor and here is a gearing system so this one as you can see uh, these two wires this is a two wire unit actually so the, here is a dc motor and the actuator is actuating way some way like this out and in so it's actuating the lock and uh, this this motor actually while well, you are going to energize by dc power i'm going to energize this motor in front of you you will understand the function how it is doing so now as you can see here just in the clear way i have to show you how to do it uh, positive and negative so now it is going in so i will reverse the power now it is going out so there is a spring action it is retreating inside like this so this is the way i just uh, actuated with the 9 volt power and now i'm going to proceed with the wiring so here as you can see these wires these wires i will go to solve the matter the problem of these wires as you can see inside the unit this time opening it i opened it to understand and give you understanding as well here are the two relays the black relays they are for the door and the other relays are for of course one for the trunk and the other one uh, vice versa or whatsoever one for the parking lights and one for the uh, trunk so here these two black relays they have five terminal actually so two are the coil and these three are one is normally closed and the other is normally opened this one here again normally closed and normally open so what we will do is these two wires normally close and normally close we will connect them to the negative supply here we are going to connect our unit to the power here as this is coming from the adapter the 9 volt adapter i am going to connect this unit to the power these two wires two wires actually which are for the power the unit power we are going to connect negative this is the outer so outside is the negative the inside is the positive i am going to put it in so now the unit is powered already powered and i am going to operate this with the help of this remote control with this remote control if i am operating you can listen the clicking of the relay as well as if i will connect a lamp over here to 
whatsoever this uh, parking light this parking light if I will connect a lamp you will see the lamp also so here is the positive with the parking light it is coming so here is my positive which is the purple wire the negative is on the uh, adapter then so you can see this power light this with the door opening and closing this light is indicating and here if I will do it and here also but with the trunk it is not actuated with the op unlock and lock it's actuating with the unlock it is actuating two times with the lock it is actuating one time now we are coming to the door wiring so the door wiring actually these two uh, white wires which are the central pole of these relays center is this relay central pole of these relays which are these two wires which are white we are going to connect one actuator one actuator one one wire and the other wire we are going to connect with the same way to the other wire and of course here this wire which is two orange wires we will go to connect to the ground and then the yellow wires the two yellow wires we will connect together and will connect it to the positive and of course for the indication I will have to connect this small lamp as well so now you will see actuating this actuator so this actuator is over here actually difficult to show on camera wiring is very very much loose see so now it's open now the close now open now close open and close so this is what is the procedure how to connect this wiring the main thing is you have to understand these two wires which are orange these will, together they will go to the negative supply negative minus 12 volt and the orange wires they will go together the yellow wires they will go together to the positive supply this is what is the trick to understand so by this way and of course these two power wires which are red and black they will go to the power uh, red to the positive battery and the black to the negative so this is the trick which must be understand to do the function properly now as you can the actuator is actuating so by this way we will connect it in the car and uh, they have given me one other unit this one and bunch of wires and the wire whatsoever this connector they are of no use I will not use these I will not use this one because this is of no use instead I will throw it away and this main unit I will use in the car I will show you how to wire each and everything in the car as well Thank you for watching keep on watching stay tuned uh, stay tuned for the part 2 and please don't uh, make negative comments people are making negative comments with the wire colors this and that so many things people are doing so that's something not good if uh, one have good understanding he can make even a negative comment I will listen it and I will see it but uh, problem is uh, so many people which I am looking at their channel have no video zero video upload and they are even making negative comments this is something not good Thank you for watching, keep on watching, stay tuned, subscribe and like.